This video is an explanation of the procedure for the acid-base titrations lab. The first thing you're going to do after you've gotten all your equipment and everything you need is you're going to get about 20 milliliters of the 6 molar sodium hydroxide solution that's like out probably on the back counter. Use your uh, graduated cylinder. It doesn't have to be exactly 20 mils. Anywhere in the neighborhood's fine. You're going to pour that into a 500 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask and then you're going to add about 380 milliliters of deionized water to that. Um, put a rubber, a solid rubber stopper on the top and mix it up. Then you're going to get a 50 milliliter burette. And the first thing you're going to do with that is wash it, right? So you're going to rinse it three times with DI water. And then you're going to take some of this stock. This is the stock solution right here. You take some of the stock solution. stock and a few mils or so add it to the burette it sort around so that coats the inside and discard it um, this solution can go down the drain then fill the burette as we did before making sure after you fill it that you get all the air out of the tip and after you've gotten all the air out of the tip make sure the volume of the sodium hydroxide solution in here stock solution is below the zero mark remember 0, 0.00 is at the top 50.00 is at the bottom Make sure you never go past the 50 mark, um, and make sure that you read the volume to two places past the decimal. So there's your burette. It's going to be in a burette clamp on a ring stand. You're going to get three way boats. Okay, Label them number one, number two, and number three. Put way boat number one on the balance, tear it out, add somewhere between 1 and 1.2 grams of the KHP, potassium hydrogen phthalate, to there. Record that mass in your data table three places past the decimal. Do the same for weigh boat number two and number three. So after you've weighed about anywhere between one and 1.2 grams of KHP into each of the teared weigh boats, you're going to transfer the KHP from the weigh boat into a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask that has already been labeled number one, number two, and number three. So weigh boat number one into Erlenmeyer flask number one. As When you transfer this, when you dump the KHP in, Rinse off the weigh boat with DI water from your wash bottle to make sure you get all of the KHP into the Erlenmeyer flask. Same for number two and number three. Once you've done that, you're going to add about 50 milliliters of DI water to each of the Erlenmeyer flasks. Use your graduated cylinder. And about three or four drops of the phenolphthalein solution that'll be out. Then, once you have the flasks, I probably swirl them to make sure they're mixed mixed well. Um, make sure that you dissolve all the KHP. So swirl them to mix to dissolve all the KHP. Then you're going to take your 50 milliliter burette that has your stock sodium hydroxide solution in it and you're going to add it carefully to the Erlenmeyer flask that has the KHP with the DI water and the phenolphthalein in it. What will happen is as you add the, 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 the sodium hydroxide solution, the base that's in the burette, to the Erlenmeyer flask where the KHP, which is a monoprotic acid is. First, it, everything's gonna be clear. The solutions will be clear. Then as you get close to the end point, that is when you get close to the point where you've added almost as many moles of sodium hydroxide as you have moles of KHP in the Erlenmeyer flask, you'll start to see flashes of pink that will go away as you swirl the flask. By the way, the technique is as you add the sodium hydroxide solution, you swirl the flask add and swirl, add and swirl. When you start to see those flashes of pink appear and then disappear, slow down and go drop by drop, one drop at a time. You can, you can control it that well with the, the burette. So add a drop of sodium hydroxide solution, swirl it, and you might not see any more flashes of pink at first, but pretty soon you'll start to see flashes of pink that disappear when you swirl the flask. When you reach the point where the flashes start to add longer, you know you're almost at the end point. When you add one drop of sodium hydroxide solution, the first drop of sodium hydroxide that makes this solution in the Erlenmeyer flask turn pink and stay pink for at least 30 seconds, stop. Record that volume. That's the final volume of sodium hydroxide solution for flask number one. You're going to repeat the same for number two and for number three. Next, for your unknown solution, you're going to pipette with a volumetric pipette 5.00 milliliters of your own known, unknown solution 
into each of your three 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks. Before you do this, make sure you rinse each flask three times with deionized water. After that, after you have 5.00 milliliters of your unknown solution in each of the flasks, to each of the flasks, add about 50 milliliters of DI water with your graduated cylinder and about three or four drops of phenol phthalene. Then you're going to titrate as before. We're in the burette that you use to titrate. It's the same sodium hydroxide solution um, as, you, as you were using for the last titrations. Each of these three go to the end point, which you will see when one drop makes a solution go from clear to pink. Next, for your solid unknown, you're going to weigh about 0.5 grams of your solid unknown into each of three teared weigh boats. And before you tear them, make sure you label them number one, number two, and number three. Transfer your solid unknown from weigh boat number one into Erlenmeyer flask number one. And again, before you do this, you'll this, these will be the ones you use for your unknown solution. Rinse it out three times with DI water, each of them. So the unknown from the Tear from the wayboat number one goes into Erlmeyer flask number one, wayboat number two, and then flask number two, three into three. Then to each of the flasks, add about 50 mils of DI water using your grad cylinder and about three or four drops of phenolphthalein. Swirl to dissolve. And then as before, you're going to titrate each of these with the same sodium hydroxide you used before in the burette to the end point. 